So, kick off day two then with the biggest race of the meeting, the Ascot Gold Cup. And we've got a small field this year, I think. Two and a half miles, Group 1, of course. Top one's Arthur's pass for Craig Allen. Broken Promise, Ryan Tamasebi, Illustrated, Craig Beckwith, Libra, Eddie, David Robertson, Mr. Yates, Paul Rhodes, Nubo, Darren Thompson, Prometheus, Leon Van Rensburg, Kuiping East, Vinnie Gerard, Tigava, Graham Clutterbuck, Underground, Craig Beckwith, and Winks, Dan Hughes. So 11 of them in the Gold Cup then. And all installed. And away they go. And... Going to be the first to show Broken Promise right over on the far side, but Libra Eddie on this near side has got the rail. But now Broken Promise is going to try and come across, but they sorted themselves out through the first furlong or so. Tigava is also interested in the lead, but will need to get across to the fence pretty sharpish, I would think. And it looks like that's what it's going to try and do. And it succeeds in that task pretty easily. So Tigava has got to the lead and has gone three clear. From Broken Promise second and Winks third, then Nubo and Mr. Yates, then a little bit of a gap back to Arthur's pass and illustrated Libra Eddie in the maroon and turquoise down on this near side. And we've got uh, illustrated after that one Prometheus and Kuiping East, and Underground is just about the back marker at the moment. So already through the first half mile, then and now passing the sand stands and the assembled throng of race guys to cheer them off on the next circuit. And Tagava is the one that will lead past the winning post in about a furlong's time. And leads by about six lengths to Broken Promise and Winks, and then Mr. Yates. And Nubo, Arthur's pass after that one. And they're now coming past the stand and past the post. Then we go past the winning post, then they'll swing right handed shortly and out for a full circuit of the Ascot track and Tigava is in the lead by six to Broken Promise who's gone second Winks in the blue is third then Mr Yates is fourth Nubo on the inside of that one is fifth in the orange, uh, the orange, the green and the yellow hoops of Arthur's Pass Libra Eddie on the inside then the two with the blue with the white sleeves illustrated is the one who's ahead of the grey underground Prometheus in the dark blue with a yellow cap on the rail towards the back and Kuiping East in the two shades of green is just about the back marker but Tikava is continuing to show the way then by five as they race down this back straight five lengths clear of Winks in second Mr Yates is third and Nubo is fourth Broken Promise on the outside is fifth Tikava's the one they've got to get to at the moment and clear in the lead and happy enough to be there leads by a good four or five Nubo just moved up on the inside of Winks to take a share of second. Broken Promise and Mr. Yates are next. Then Arthur's pass. Illustrated and Underground are still running together. Libra Eddie's just dropped towards the back a little bit with Kuiping East and Prometheus is still in the back mark. I'm going to try and pass them all as they come down towards the final mile. And Tigava is in front. From Broken Promise second. Then Nuvo and Mr. Yates, Winks is next. The grey underground is getting considerably closer. And also look at that Prometheus now switched to the outside and being trapped by Kuiping East as well. Illustrated is now the back marker. Tigava's lead is down to a length and a half as Mr. Yates now makes a forward move. But the one who's making the most eye-catching progress is Prometheus. And that one's burst through into third. There's still six furlongs to go though. And Tigava is now headed by Mr. Yates. Mr. Yates takes it up. Prometheus on the outside is coming through in a second. Then comes Broken Promise. Winks is still there as well. Underground is still running on. Nubo being pushed along on the inside. Kuiping East is now trying to get into it. Arthur's pass has hit a bit of a flat spot. Libra is trying to get going. And illustrated is still the back marker, but it's almost three in a line now. Mr. Yates, Prometheus, and Winks. It's Mr. Yates on the inside, Prometheus on the outside. Winks is just back in third, then Broken Promise. Tigava now looks beaten, then comes Underground and Nubo, Kuiping East and Libra Eddie trying to run on, but Mr. Yates looks still to be going well. So too does Prometheus. Broken Promise is trying to close. Nubo in fourth is now getting into overdrive. Libra Eddie is switched to the outside. It's a wide open race still with two and a half furlongs to go. Mr. Yates on the inside, Prometheus comes on 
under the whip in second. These two are clear of Broken Promise and Nubo, and they're not catching the leaders, are they? It's Mr. Yates and Prometheus who are beginning to pull away as they come down towards the final third of and a half, and Mr. Yates is a length up. Mr. Yates is now two lengths up. Prometheus is in second, trying to run off from the back is illustrated, but a furlong to go, and it's Mr. Yates. Could this be another goal caught for Paul Rhodes? It's Mr. Yates who's now three clear, and it looks like he's put this one to Ben a long way out. Mr. Yates is racing up towards and He's going to take the gold cup in a procession. Mr. Yates takes it. Prometheus is second illustrated third. Broken promise four. Then Kuyping East and Arthur's pass. And a field will trail back to Winks who probably didn't stay the trip. But it's a win for Paul Rhodes. He might have missed out on a few of the classics this season. But he's got his hands on the gold cup again at Ascot. Uh, Mr. Yates takes it for Paul Rose. Prometheus for Leon van Rensburg was second. Illustrated ran on really well for third for Craig Beckwith. Broken Promise for Ryan Tanasevi was fourth. And Kuiping East, another one that ran off in the back, was fifth for Vinnie Gerrard.